uh, is Steve Odland, President and CEO of the Conference Board and a CNBC contributor. Steve, uh, very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Wolf. So, so sum up uh, the scale of this data this morning, the, the consumer confidence reading coming in 89.3, ahead of expectations and uh, nicely ahead of December as well. Yeah, no, it, it, look, it's a two-point increase. It's up versus down, which is what we've had the last couple of months. So uh, this is better. But the conference board's measure has two components to it in consumer confidence. One is how consumers are feeling about their present situation, and the second, how they're feeling about the future. And the actually, uh, the numbers on the present situation actually went down a little bit in January. So people are nervous about their jobs. They're nervous about their own financial conditions, and they are worried that business conditions actually are worsening right now. But as they look out over the next six months, they think it's actually going to get better. Part of that is driven by their views of the stimulus, uh, and part of it is driven by their views of vaccinations and the ability then to get back to normal. Clearly, uh, discussions are ongoing in Washington about the stimulus. Uh, how much could these numbers drop, Steve, if, if we didn't get the, the full $1.9 trillion or we didn't get the full $1,400 stimulus checks? You know, it's hard to say, um, you know, we want to get this number back over 100 where people start buying again, but they need to have some certainty in their own income. And even with the stimulus check in hand, they don't know if it's the last one they're going to see. They don't know how much, um, you know, it's how fast things are going to get back to normal. The, the main important thing for us to worry about is jobs. And so, you know, people want to work. It's a, you know, it's basically, it's basically how they can uh, afford to maintain their households and, you know, their level of spending. So that's where our focus needs to be. In order to get people back to work, we need to get people vaccinated. We need to get a herd immunity going. So it's, it all comes back to COVID, 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 and how fast can we get this vaccination through our society? Steve, the housing market, of course, has been very strong despite a, a relatively weak economy over the last year. Do, do you think the numbers this morning suggest that will continue in the, in the short term? Well, you know, the housing market's been really strong. Now, part of that's been because of falling mortgage rates, and we've got, uh, what, we're about uh, as low as they've ever been. At some point, that peels off a, a lot of demand, and then you run up against, you know, fundamentally people being able to afford it. So, you know, that's one of the issues. The other thing we saw was a rotation out of rental housing and uh, out of urban centers and more into suburban situations. That's COVID driven as well. So it's going to be a, a, a turn of events if we can get back to some semblance of normal, some back in the office uh, routine, then people, I think, will stabilize and, you know, and, and not be counting so much on remote work. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.